Hi guys. So I'm going to do a reading for each zodiac sign, Aries through Pisces, and I'm just going to pull about one card for the week. Uh, and we'll see what comes up in this message for each zodiac sign. And then I'll just talk about what I think is coming up for you. This is a predictive message. So spirit and angels, please show us for Aries. What's coming up this week for Aries? You need to be patient. Okay, so that was showing as your predictive future energy in your weekly. If you haven't watched your weekly, <laughs> you should watch your weekly. You have to be patient here. What's happening? Four of Swords. Caution, not talking, being patient. There's a page of Swords here. There could be somebody annoying you. Um, you have to be tolerant and also know that something is a long road ahead of you. This is not something where you make a fast choice. It could, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, we have Gemini, we have Libra. So there's something about communication that you need that either you're not giving or someone's not giving to you. Being patient is very key this week. Okay, so let's see what we got for Leo. Okay. Same cards. <laughs> it is a fire sign, full underlying. You can set set yourself free from this kind of energy, four of swords, or just not talk to the person. Rest. Um, prayers also. The fool is a risk. Um, so that's coming up for Leo. Okay. Gemini and Aquarius. See what else are we getting here for Sagittarius? Show us. Okay, so pretty much I'm getting the card of Sagittarius for Sagittarius, which is go with the flow. Um, just kind of take it easy. If the you know if the situation calls for you to kind of adapt, just adapt. What's happening? Slow. Knight of Pentacles. Taurus energy. I don't rush in and I don't rush out. Um, it's on the way or it's already here and it's it takes time and then it takes time to go out. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Oh, behind it is something accelerates. So when something all of a sudden accelerates, then it's like here to stay. Okay, so let's see what we're getting for Pisces. Let's do water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Very worried. Concerns. Mm, you know, fears connected to things that may have not even happened yet. I feel like it hasn't happened yet. The judgment, which is a strong awakening. The day of judgment. Um, a surprise. Oh, and the sun. So something is shown. Gemini. Okay, so the fear of maybe even just simply being judged, the fear of being judged in the wrong way or something like that, the fear of, like the fear of God's been put into you, but you're fine. It's because of this moon with the magician. Um, you may be thinking about someone who is very manipulative, um, the judgment can also be you've got divine intervention, divine protection there. Okay, so what do we have here for cancer? You're just like, well, I don't want to take any risks and, you know, I don't want to lose something, but I also don't want to gain something. I'm okay where I am. Four of cups. Um, the reason why something is very exciting, two of rods and a fire sign here, something is very like exciting or right away. This is like someone who's impulsive and exciting. Um, strong, powerful feelings, ace of cups and an emperor. Maybe, maybe Aries energy here. Um, how a father, father figure, su superior, um, anybody in a leadership role, the emperor and the 10 of water. Okay. So you're just kind of like, well, I'm just going to wait this one out and see, let me wait and see how it goes. All right. Let's see what we get for Scorpio.
Wow. I I knew before I even said, I was like, this is going to be big. Scorpio's tower and a fire sign feminine. There's a fire sign Aries, Leo, or Sag. This tower is like unplanned. You didn't plan for this. The tower is, I didn't even know that this was going to occur. This was not part of the plan. It could be something exposed as well. Um, huge shock. King of the Cups. Queen of the Wands. Someone's going to take pick up the wand and take action. But there's this emotional person. A message. Strong, powerful feelings. Aries energy here. Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups. And the Death card behind it. So there's a big change. All right, so let's see what we have for Taurus. Show us Taurus. Oh, you're coming up as a king energy. So you're a leader. There's something where you're taking the lead. You're taking on a lot more than you normally would. You're taking on full responsibility. Ten of wands. Everything is on you, but you're volunteering for that. Um, Could also be an Aries or Sag here with this ten of wands. Looking at a situation from a different perspective, wanting to heal and let something go so that you can have hope again and something changes. Okay, so let's see. For Capricorns. A lot of secrets coming out with Saturn retrograde and Pisces. Your planet is in the house of mystery. So when it's in retrograde, you'll find things out. Show us here for Capricorn. Strong, powerful feelings. The cup overflows with emotions. Eight of Pentacles, looking into things that are real, specific, research, learning, educating, the working, you know, maybe reading. There is a Five of Wands. There is some kind of competitive conflict. Oh, and the devil. Someone wants full control over a situation. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. There's a masculine water sign and a feminine water sign. That could be a couple or parents. Um, King and Queen of Water is like two people whose feelings are very deep. Uh, this, This connection is definitely here, but what's going on with that? There's competition. So for you, Capricorn, you're not going to feel... It's going to be very, very important to you to look into this very closely. All right. Let's see Virgo. Spirit angels, show us Virgo. The moon. You just don't know. Uh, The moon is like, well, I don't know. Um, And uh, the moon is mystery. So you just kind of accept the mystery. The moon is... Uh, your intuition, the death here is something will be reborn, renewed, restored. The moon, you have to trust your intuition very much. So um, what's behind the death? Queen of the Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, feminine energy, memories. Okay, and a four of swords. You haven't spoken to this person. Seven of swords, this person. There's some dishonesty here or someone isn't talking about something, not sharing information. Okay, let's move on to Gemini. Show us for Gemini this week. Wow, you're going to actually be really happy that something is just uncomfortable, but you you have a huge awakening and this is actually a really, really good thing here with the nine of cups. Um, the hangman is submerged into an uncomfortable position where you have no control. And, and in fact, though, this is a good thing. Nine of cups. You just don't really see that it's such a good thing. Four of swords. There's no discussion, maybe resting, um, laying in bed, There's a wish coming true, though, here from this uh, uncomfortable period. Okay, so what do we have coming up for Libra? Show us here for Libra. 
We had a double yod on, what was it, Saturday the 13th. We had a double yod, which is the Hand of Fate or Destiny, overlapping each other with the Libra moon. So moon energy in Libra is justice, fairness, accuracy, uh, courts, documents, enforcement, uh, strong, powerful feelings. Okay, show us what's going on here for Libra. Power of the emperor. Some of you are called on to lead, to be in a powerful position. This could also be a father. Um, the emperor is typically Aries. So this is owning your power, knowing who you are. Eight of cups, somebody, you want to walk away from something. You're like, this isn't for me. This isn't what I want to do. Um, I cared very, very much about a situation, but it's just not panning out the way I had hoped. I don't see happiness for me in this situation. It could be taking back your power. It could be starting your own business. Whatever it is, you are, you know who you are and you know who you are all the time, which is a good thing. Now, if it's simply an Aries and a Scorpio, you know, you could be dealing with a, a pretty powerful Aries and this Scorpio here is like, next, like, I'm done. Look at this battle. There's a battle here, a fight, an argument, a defensive posturing. Ooh, somebody here is quite angry. Five of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay. So show us for Aquarius. What do they need to see or acknowledge? Wow. Some of you are finding out about something that occurred and you're like, um, this is not something that I want to be a part of. <laughs> the devil is typically something where you don't have the freedom to do what you want to do. You have to kind of abide by some um, unfair rules or something like that. And what you don't see is that someone's going to rush in and maybe get their point across. Maybe you will or they will about this certain scenario here. Um, the devil is kind of, I mean, it's toxic. You don't have the freedom to do what you want to do. Typically it's very like, ah, uh, um, obsessive with kind of dark things. Um, what's behind it? Research. It's looking into things closely. And then someone here gets quite upset, you know, gets their point across, but then they, that's how they handle things and they run out again. So you could be getting your point across and then you leave this to this connection. What is this about? Could be a Capricorn too. Wow. Coming with fire and then going out again. Oh, King of the Water, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. This person's determined to go forward. Okay. I think that's all I had for the entire Zodiac, all 12 signs. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Please check out your each individual signs. Check out the Wednesday reading, the Witchy Wednesday. Uh, if you have Aries placements, you can check out your Aries readings. Other than that, I'll see you in the next video.